Joel Hickerson, Grindog.com. Today we're going to learn how to draw fruit. Okay, let's start with a real simple one. Um, maybe the banana. It's just pretty much two half circles. One, two. You cap off the end. A little, almost like a square. And then you do some half circles in the middle. These can be lighter. And you kind of shade one side and follow these half circle lines a little bit. Kind of give the, uh, the bruising that comes with some of these bananas. And then you go back and you accentuate the outline. You can even shade the bottom a little bit more to give it a little bit of weight. Okay, so that's our banana. Then another easy one would be a grapes. And the grapes, I usually start with about four right next to each other, four circles. And then in between those circles, I create another circles until we go down to one. And then I might add a couple of top, throw a stem out there, a leaf maybe. And very important, is like a little tendril that always seem to accompany the grape. Okay, and then you can come in if you want to a little more complicated and shade just one side. Pick yourself a light source and just shade one side of these grapes. Okay, and that's a grape. An orange, very simple. It's the closest thing to a circle we have in the fruit kingdom. You have there, and then maybe because of the texture of an orange, you come back and you just do a couple of squiggly lines again. If you have a light source here, a couple of squiggly lines on the side of the circle that the light isn't hitting. And then you shade the bottom half. Kind of give it a little bit of weight. Okay, and then you can put a little stem out the top and a leaf. All right, maybe two. Whatever balances it out. Okay, next would be an apple, which isn't a circle. It actually starts and goes straight and is like circular at the top, straight sides almost. Okay, have this. And it has a little stem coming out. Maybe a leaf. Erase some of the inside of that leaf. Can I have a color to it? I usually shade the bottom again to kind of give it something to sit on. You can even a little bit of a shadow down. That's four, and then if you want to draw a quick pair, it's almost like drawing a bell, the Liberty Bell. Okay, and that's how you draw fruit. 